Hello ePlay viewers. It's been a little while since I had a good enough signal to uh, to give you a little uh, view of something. Hi Paul. So I hadn't planned to come to Rockland and, and be here for too long, but uh, circumstances didn't work in my favor. And yesterday I went to put my anchor down and the anchor didn't go down. The uh, Something's gone wrong with the control or with the motor, so I've come in here for the night. There's a, a boat yard here that will, will try to help me in the morning and they want me to be at the dock first thing, so I had moved to uh, to a nice harbor and expecting a lot of wind tonight, but I think the forecast has changed, so the lots of wind isn't going to happen. Oh, I should show you the view. <clears throat> and so I came here just to be on, on time for my appointment tomorrow, and I think I'm going to get lucky and, and no big no big wind as the cold front comes through. So I picked up a mooring ball. You see there's a whole pile of empty mooring balls here. And if you're a little discreet, there's no reason to uh, to go over to that side. In the distance, there's a whole bunch of mooring balls over there you can pay money for. Uh, no, it's uh, um, Journeys and Marina is where, where I'm going. I think I'm pretty near the boat works though. Obviously you know about Rockland. Are you in uh, Rockland? Over here is a a fish fa factory and right now the wind is in the right direction. I don't think it's running so it's not smelling but sometimes it does. I don't usually like shooting into the sun because you can't see anything but you can see there's a lot of boats all around. This is a gigantic harbor. There's a, uh, a lobster dock over there and I think some schooners come out of there too. But this is a gigantic harbor and there's always room for more. More moorings that is. So there's always a whole bunch of empty ones especially over on this side and uh, I've never had anybody complain <laughs> that I was on a mooring. Uh, I did pick one up behind me but it was too close to another boat so I got it all settled in on that one and oh my goodness, I'm a little too close to the boat that's back. It doesn't look like it's too close now, but it was then. We were facing a different direction. So I, I said I'm going to move and pick up another one that's nearby. Cottage down in Muir Point, Casco Bay. Sweet! So I am looking forward to, uh, to visiting Rockland, at least briefly. The, uh, the troubleshooting of this thing, and here, here's what the trouble is. Here's my electric windlass, which doesn't go right now. And it was a real pain to pull up the chain by hand. This morning I had 60 feet out, and I think I pulled up 30 by hand and managed to use this hook to, to stop it for a minute. How deep's the harbor? Uh, it depends on where you are. Um, in this area, it's deep enough to float your boat. Barely. Uh, farther out? See, this harbor just goes and goes and goes, and they've built a gigantic uh, breakwater with a lighthouse at the end just to help stop up the entrance. Otherwise, this place would be a, a raging uh, disaster and a storm. I have been here at very, very low tide once, and I was watching boats, uh, lobster boats, who you think would know better. I was watching them get stuck in the mud because where it usually was deep enough, the water was down one and a half feet and then it wasn't deep enough for a lobster boat and it was just getting stuck in the mud and trying to do the best it could. It got free eventually. Yeah, so anyway, I had to pull up all this chain and then I cranked a little bit and pulled up a little bit and there's the pile of chain that I haven't quite finished with. So hopefully the uh, the uh, electrician, I'm assuming, the electrician, We'll take a look at this, and it, it, it has to be one of two things. These things aren't too complicated. If the motor goes, it's got to be uh, some kind of problem with the circuit that tells it to start, start turning up or down. So it's nice they can take me. Hopefully it's not too complicated. Um, one reason I don't like being in this harbor, especially where I am now, is even though it's very quiet tonight, and thanks for the hearts, even though it's very quiet tonight, you can still see bobbing around a little bit. And, and the, all these boats that are going somewhere come charging through. And it'll be nice and, and peaceful and then all of a sudden kapow and you're hit by, by wakes. 
that does tend to slow down at night but not completely so sometimes when I come in here I go way over there because usually the wind is from that direction anyway in the very far corner and and the wakes still come in but but not as, as vigorous as they are when you're near the channel there's a, uh, a ferry terminal here what's the temperature temperature is barefoot I don't know it's about 60 degrees 65 degrees pleasant I didn't have a jacket on today didn't need it so that one of the main ferry terminals for all the nearby islands is, is over there um, fish plant Coast Guards nearby interesting uh, interesting boat here it's for sale if you want to buy a weird looking motorboat I guess it's a little little odd just painted painted in interesting fashion so this is my view tomorrow morning uh, bright and early into the dock um, as soon as I can see if I can can do it. I think they I think they start work at uh, at 7 so if I can get into the dock and maybe get to the the grocery store before that that would be nice but not uh, not critical so here comes a fishing boat we'll let it come in then I'll, I'll finish this scope because the Sun's going down and I want to get inside I think I'm far enough away from land so I don't get bugs you don't want a lot of mosquitoes here's a sweet little boat barely any wind right now I can't tell which way they're going they might be heading toward me and you can't see it because you're looking into the Sun so over here on the right toward shore there's another fishing boat with all its lights on who knows why they tend to uh, to do that that little sailboat <laughs> I hope they have a paddle can you see him there in the center there's hardly any wind and they're gonna need to get in So let's see where's that fishing boat yeah it's coming along at a good clip I have to watch my footing so I don't trip oh you're welcome this is a lovely view of course it's probably better in person hey, look look at this look at this mackerel sky isn't that something there's a little bit of rain this morning very brief and the worst of the storms were were elsewhere close by but elsewhere thank you I can hear an osprey in the distance so um, there's not too many it seems like there's not too many lobster boats based here yeah Paul you should be up here too hot down where you are hey there's some some pink hearts purplish hearts this is a, a lovely spot as long as it's not when it's not rough but if the wind pipes up for any direction in this this direction you're in trouble then you then you have to get used to bouncing up and down and no thanks it's a nice harbor to uh, to visit briefly because there's there's supplies and whatnot that you might need but you wouldn't want to I don't think you I wouldn't want to spend a lot of time here if it's uh, if the winds from the wrong direction so here comes kind of a fishing boat lobster boat coming in once he's finished I'll I'll be finished too it is a pretty view I have to watch my footing if I turn I don't want to drop this phone in the water there's a, a wooden boat school here and my guess would be that this little boat might be one of their products I'm actually on there on their mooring I didn't realize it was theirs until I got onto it and saw what it said let's see where where's the thing now Oh, I'm drifting. It's over here. I shouldn't be. <laughs> you know, that's a bit odd. I should be drifting back, not forwards. Hi, Divine. So even though this boat's slowing down, I'll still get a little, little blip from it as it goes by. I usually stop in here once a year. It's a good place to um, to get a shower, do laundry. How's my summer going? My summer's going pretty good, actually. I spent seven days at my last port, 
getting work done not not repair work but just some changes and I wish yeah it's really beautiful here and I wish I'd tried my there was no reason to but I wish I'd tried my anchor before I left and I would have found out it was defective and they could have fixed me but I hope this place here can can fix me or at least tell me what the trouble is Yeah, the sun's going down over the hills. There's some nice nice storm clouds off in the distance and the storm is not here. And there's the sun shining over the edge of my solar panel. Just going down behind the trees. When you're out and in the uh, the bay proper, it's a tremendous view of the, the Camden Hills in the distance when it's clear. Of course it's not always clear. This is Maine and you can get you can get some fog and not see much at all. And that's how some of those lobstermen talk, with a certain uh, accent. The weird taste in my water tanks has, has completely disappeared, and thanks for asking. The, uh, the best thing I ever did this spring, or early summer, was to put in a water filter. And it took it was quite a process. It should have been a lot simpler. But in the end, it, it worked out. And it's so nice not to, uh, <laughs> not, not to have to deal with like horrible, hor the water in the tanks is still horrible, but once it goes through the filter, then it's like, oh my goodness, this is good stuff. So I, I don't like to, to keep the pressure system, the water pressure system engaged. So I will switch it on and fill up two, two bottles, which usually is good for about two days. And it only takes a moment to fill them up and then switch the, the pressure system off. I think I have a little a little leak from that water filter installation. Oh, here comes another boat. So here's the waves from the first one. And it's so calm you can see them. The mattress is a complete disaster, Paul. It's unusable. That's one of my my gripes. It didn't work out. The mattress that I tested as a sample was firm and the one that was delivered was way too soft. So that fishing boat wasn't going very fast, and I have my arm around a, a support that holds the mast up, so I'm not going to, going to tip over the edge here. But that fishing boat wasn't going too fast, and look what it, it does. So you, you get these a, quite a lot all day long, and then not quite so many at night. But look at that, that boat. See, I'm, I'm kind of holding still, but look at that boat in front of me plunging. How would you like to have a nice sleep and then wake up to this? And here comes one coming in fast. He wants to get in and <laughs> get tied up and, and go home. And I can't blame him a bit. So I said I was going to scope out with... Uh, well, the other... You know what? The thing about, about Maine, if, there's, if you can see, pretty much the view is awesome no matter, no matter where you are, as long as the weather is, is good. There's no fog. Um, this view is good because it's at the end of the day and the sun angle is low and everything has this nice color to it and the clouds are pretty and there's lots of boats to look at um, some places where you go you don't have the boats you just have have shore but that's okay too this is an interesting place this is a you can see this this is one of the biggest harbors in Maine in terms of, of not just phys physical size, but uh, how many boats are in it. I think there's at least one or maybe two, two boats who take you from the dock out to your boat, or vice versa. Let's see what that other fishing boat's doing. He slowed down some, but we'll still get a little, little activity. So that's a lobster boat coming in. Yeah, well, Paul, I certainly won't be any worse off than I am now. I, but I know from what I did this morning, I really do not want to pull that anchor up by hand. Again, uh, I was lucky today because there was a very light wind and I wasn't in any current. Now this thing that, that broke down has, a, has a, an emergency system where you can use a handle and, and crank it back and forth but it was very slow and and that was also hard work so that's the end of the Sun until tomorrow and that's the end of my scope too so I'm gonna find a 
thing to end on. When will you start your trip south? Uh, September. I have other I have other boat work in, in, in on the schedule. I'm going to get a new. Well, some of these things I'm doing. I've wanted to do for a while and they're not emergencies or breakdowns they're just changes and one of the changes with my boatyard back home said they'd take take two weeks and that was not going to happen I know how slow they are when they say two weeks it might be four or five sorry Jay but I know how things are so the place I had it done took basically four days and little yeah basically four days and a lot of that was waiting um, for parts to come in or for for something to be done and then you go and let it dry and harden and fiberglass work and whatnot so the actual time was much less than than that of course you pay by the hour so I'll get the I'll get the bill at some point and here's the wake from that the lobster boat what can I end on that's pretty all right we're gonna end up over here so everyone, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.